1964, a company was started in Canada called Canadian Mountain Holidays, or CMH. There was an Austrian, a young Hans Moser, who came from Austria and moved to Canada, started exploring the mountains of British Columbia for its skiing potential. And Hans is seen over here on the right. And Hans had an unquenchable zest for the mountains, a passion, and for people and taking them through it. And this is something that still continues to this day for CMH. When Hans first started exploring the mountains, he was blown away that there was no lift system, no extensive ski areas to access this unbelievable range. So thank goodness in 1965, he had the idea to use a helicopter to bring each guest up from the remote Bugaboo Lodge and go ski touring all day. Now, also thank goodness, the people he went skiing with, of course they loved it. They couldn't believe how good the skiing was. The area was so big, so vast and remote, but they weren't into this walking up the hill all day. Although you can see the fashion is still quite good. But thank goodness, some of them asked Hans, they said, Hans, you know, we really love this, but is there any possible way that we could just use the helicopter all day? And of course, Hans, you know, being quite a frugal man, he thought, well, this will never work, but we'll try it out. Now, of course, soon after, this became quite a popular thing. Everybody started to hear about Canadian Mountain Holidays, the use of a helicopter to access the mountains, and the unbelievable skiing that you could get. Soon, the Bugaboo Lodge was constantly full throughout the winter, and Hans was looking for new areas. So, the unbelievable Columbia Mountain Range, right in the middle of British Columbia, had nobody heli skiing in it, since he was the first. So he contacted the government and said, well, I'll take this spot, this spot, well, you know what, I'll just take the whole range. Now Hans chose the Columbia Mountain Range because of their abundant light dry snow, unlike the Rockies to the east, which are quite rocky and not snowy, and Whistler in the Coast Mountains to the west, which have abundant snow but can be quite wet, the Columbias has the same amount of snow, but really, really dry, excellent skiing. Now when Hans went searching for the new areas, he held super strict standards. So he sought out the places that only had the best skiing, the best variety, and the most consistently good conditions. Giant glacier runs, deep tree skiing, the best he could find. And some people don't realize this when they go shopping for a heli ski area to go with. They don't realize that these small places, they are actually just places that Hans didn't pick the first time, they didn't meet basically his quality control. Now for people who have skied in Europe or in the United States, a lot of people don't realize that the tree skiing in Canada is so unique. It's, it's uh, a lot more open, that tends to be where the snow is the deepest, and it can get consistently amazing conditions. And also it enables us when it isn't sunny up in the Alpine, you can ski the big glaciers, it means you're still going to get out skiing and you go ski these beautiful mature forests. Now when Hans picked his places to ski, he also handpicked the places where the lodges were and designed them himself. So you have unbelievable accommodations to stay in and you can't really call them rustic. You'll have everything you need for your vacation away from home. Unbelievable meeting areas, fireplaces, leather couches, a fully stocked bar and wine cellar to cater for all your needs for dinner. Your vacation isn't just going to stop in the skiing, it's going to keep on continuing right through the whole evening. All the lodges have unbelievable chefs, amazing food, and that's consistently some, something everybody always remarks about. Here you can see the beautiful remote backcountry lodge of the Bobby Burns. Quite rustic. Beautiful hot tub on the outside. Everybody enjoying the inside. Now a lot of people out there might have tried day heli skiing somewhere else, maybe in Europe, maybe in the United States, and they're not too sure what the difference is with CMH. Well, first of all, again, those amazing accommodations. You'll wake up out of your beautiful room and you'll go have an unbelievable breakfast, um, a stretch session before that, some spa if you want, and then you'll meet your guide at 9 o'clock for skiing. 
And the typical day at CMH, you're gonna ski between eight to 12 runs. Sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. But the basic thing to get out of it is that you're gonna go skiing and it's gonna be all day. The runs typically because we've manicured the area and we've figured out where everything goes, how it works, the typical runs are gonna be 700 to 1,000 meters long. Some of them even 2,000 meters long. That's as big as Whistler Blackcomb. CMH is really lucky to be working with Alpine Helicopters. They actually own CMH and because of this, there's no added pressure to fly when we shouldn't fly and the pilots and the guides work extremely well together in deciding where we go for the day. The pilots are also regarded as some of the best pilots in the industry, many with thousands of hours of flying. And the helicopters are actually regarded as the, uh, the best maintenance in the industry as well. Safety is the number one thing with CMH. All of the guides are highly skilled and trained, many of them having uh, 10 to 20 years experience in the area. And a lot of people don't realize how much actually goes into the day is actually safety. The guides meet for over two hours a day and just talk about avalanche conditions, glacier conditions, and group's abilities. CMH sets the standard when it comes to safety protocols in the mountains. With 45 years experiencing perfecting it, everybody looks to us to see how we're handling certain situations. It often gets overlooked, but it's not just business, it's not just uh, money in exchange for skiing, a lot of it's family. Many of our guests have been coming back for years and years, lots of the guests are still good friends with the staff and with the guides, and also when you come on a trip, you're not just coming with your friends, you're meeting tons of more people that you'll probably end up knowing and skiing with the rest of your life. With 12 different lodges to choose from, and a season that runs from the beginning of December right through till the end of April, there's hundreds of choices for different programs we offer. The standard program would be run out of one of the remote backcountry lodges where there would be a 212 helicopter and four groups of 11. To a lot of people this sounds like a, a big group to be skiing through the mountains with, but they forget how big the massive area is that CMH skis. With all the lodges combined, it's an area bigger than Switzerland. And many of the uh, of the areas, each lodge will have hundreds of Whistler Blackcombs or Verbiers, different peaks to ski. So skiing around with 44 people really isn't that much. And that's the standard package. Now there's small groups traveling in 407 helicopters where you might get three groups of five skiing from one area. Or there's private lodges, there's ski touring, there's something to accommodate for everybody. There is now um, half and half, so you can ski half the days, three days skiing on the hill. You can ski three days skiing in the backcountry heli skiing. You could do half your week long trip ski touring. You could do half your week long trip um, heli skiing. So it really just depends what you're looking for. There's also the powder intro, which is for people who haven't skied much powder. It's dedicated to going at a slightly slower pace, video, ski analysis, um, the powder masters, and there's the new steep camps, which is offered out of the Caribous and sometimes Bobby Bird Lodge, dedicating to uh, the steeper, more adventurous type of skiing. So what does all of this mean for you? Coming to CMH means that you're going to have the best mountain experience you can possibly have. With the oldest heli ski operation in the world, with the most experience employing the most fully certified guides in the world, and we figure things out. Years and years of doing it has meant that you're gonna be able to have the best trip to sit back, relax, have some excellent skiing, and leave everything else to us. Because we've been out there for 45 years perfecting it for you, this means you're gonna get out and get the most skiing. The average lodge only has half a down day per week, which is quite a bit better than most operations. This also means when you come with us, you're gonna get more of the skiing you've been looking for, deep, dry, steep, Canadian powder. So whether you've been looking for those unbelievably deep powder days, amazing tree runs, endless pillow lines, giant alpine bowls or massive glacier runs, or just here for the unbelievable scenery and remoteness that only the 
Central BC Mountains can offer. Come ski with Canadian Mountain Holidays. Let us show you our passion for the mountains and for taking you through it at the oldest, longest running and best heli-ski operation in the world. Canadian Mountain Holidays.